Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. It's already nighttime. Uh, you may have instantly thought I was up really early, but no, I'm not recording till evening. And with the time change, it looks even darker than it really is. Um, today's been a whirlwind of a day, and you're, um, you're probably expecting like just excitement. We're almost discharged, and Melanie's almost ready to go home, but she will not be going home today. They had some, some, I would say mid-level concerns, not minor, not serious, but concerning things that happened in the last 24 hours that make them not want to discharge her today. And given everything that happened in the last 24 hours, we agreed. And we were kind of relieved to hear that, although it's a double-edged sword because it's another day that she is um, bound to a bed in a hospital. And today she ended up spending a good amount of her day by herself because the kids needed me. I left the hospital fairly early intending to get the kids and, and maybe try to go to church this morning, but to no avail because Caleb woke up just, um, gosh, the, the poor man, the poor little guy. I call him a man because he's really beginning to display levels of concern and maturity that show me that he's getting near to that point where he's gonna start to become a man, really. He, and, you know, that happens in adolescence, and he's getting close to that time. But he's displaying a lot of maturity and concern for his mother that that shows just how deeply he thinks about her and how much he desires her good, kind of in a way that begins to look like he's like a mini daddy. He um, came home early from school last week one day, one of those days when Melanie had been already been gone three days, he hadn't seen her in like three days, and I think he just got a terrible migraine from the stress and had to come home. And then this morning, he woke up with a rash all over his body. It wasn't chicken pox or anything like that. It was a it was a heat rash, um, and I it, or I say it's a heat rash. I am not a doctor or a nurse or the son of a doctor or a nurse, but it looked like a minor rash that sometimes can come from just stress or things happening inside us biologically and uh, I know it was a minor rash because it's already gone now just mere hours later um, you know I think from the time I started taking care of him uh, probably six or seven hours later it's it's gone and he's looking a hundred percent better and even he's even behaving like he has energy again but he I think he just woke up you know two days straight without mom or dad and he's really not getting updates other than Daisy was born mommy's good Daisy's good he can't see he can't um, be involved he really doesn't know the details and for him he's just like his mommy if he doesn't know all the details he begins to stress and he has just been taking that stress on into his own body and I think he got to the point today where like I explained it to him he began to look on the outside how he feels on the inside he had a, a headache he um, he was not himself in his attitude at all he just was not himself at all to so family and you all know Caleb and, and the Caleb I got today was not not him he's he was acting out of stress and I I got that mommy and I both agreed that's exactly what's happening and then we, had, we each had our own chat with him and that helped a lot for him to process how he's feeling and to identify what it is he's actually feeling, what's actually making him mad, what is a symptom and what is a cause, you know, because him getting angry, those are just symptoms, those aren't the problems. He had a tough day and I think all the other kids really had, a, had an all right day. They were really happy to be around me because being around any parent right now gives them a sense of normalcy. So they are chilling out. I was able to feed them before I left. And I'm gonna go back to the hospital and spend some time with Melanie and Daisy. And um, I'm, I'm just doing that thing where I'm bouncing back and forth between everybody and trying to make sure everybody gets enough of my time and I'm tending to each member of the family and their needs. And I gotta get some lovey-dovey time with Miss Daisy, my Daisy dear. So I, uh, I'm gonna try and get down to the NICU tonight too. What Melanie and I are gonna do tonight though is we were able to schedule a special meal. Um, a lot of hospitals will do a celebration meal for mom and dad on the last night, even though 
we don't know if this is the last night, uh, but on the last night of your stay, they'll do a celebratory meal, which is uh, filet mignon and a really nice food, <laughs> delicious upscale food relative to the normal menu they have, and a little sparkling grape juice sort of deal, and it's just sweet and romantic for mommy and daddy to be able to sit down and celebrate the life that God allowed them to create together. And you know, every time we've had that meal before, our baby has been in the room with us. So this is our first time having that meal where our true reward, the baby, is not in the room with us. Um, but what I did to family is I did a little something special for mommy. There has been a tradition during each childbirth that as a reward, you know, it's the real reward's the baby, but as a little bonus, I guess I'll say, is I've always bought Melanie a little set of jewelry with the birthstone of the child she gave birth to. They're all green, by the way, so far. Uh, I think the, the May birthdays are emerald, so like a dark green, and then the August birthdays, I forget what it's called, but it's like a light green, and then our daisy is a, a citrine, so it's like yellow. I bought Mommy some jewelry to commemorate this day, and uh, I'll explain to you the meaning behind what I bought, because of course, you all know Mike Chandler. He's not gonna buy random jewelry. He's gonna buy something thoughtful that actually has a specific meaning for why he's buying exactly what he's buying. There's, there's a story behind everything, right? So I'll explain that to you when we get to the hospital and we have our dinner. Um, I'm gonna drop it off with the concierge, so when they bring that meal to Mommy and I, the little um, gift bag will be with the meal. It'll be a nice little surprise that she's totally not expecting uh, when they deliver it to the room. So, the next thing you see should be us in the room, and I'll see you in just a second. So this lady looks like she needs to be on the front of Super Moms Weekly. <laughs> like, she, I came in the room and we both started crying and we hugged each other and got emotional. She like dressed up and, and who did you do it for? You. For, did you hear that? Did you hear how cute and attractive? Gee, she's attractive. Goodness gracious, I love her so much. You. I love this girl. And she's, I don't know, she's crying and I'm probably gonna cry. She's even in jeans, y'all. She has been in nothing but sweatpants. And I said, you could wear sweatpants? She goes, oh, I'll change after dinner, but we're gonna have dinner and I'm gonna wear jeans to dinner. They're bringing a special celebratory meal, filet mignon and shrimp cocktails and the whole yeah, works. A nice meal for us before, hopefully before you go home. Tomorrow. Tomorrow would be lovely, you know, but I was telling them <coughs> That's the right the time. Yeah, the right <laughs> time versus the soonest time, so. So I went back into labor today, yay. Oh, you gotta hear this. Basically they had to put me back into labor um, to make sure that I wasn't hemorrhaging today, so. So they gave you a pill? They gave me a pill that dissolves in my mouth. Um, and then they gave me Percocet that was supposed to like kill it. Yeah, it didn't. Kill the pain, it but really it didn't. didn't. No. So here so you for are. for maybe like five hours, my body was contracting and, and I like, and I couldn't like go to the bathroom because mm -hmm. I was like, I can't like, so they couldn't, basically the the pill was supposed to work and they were supposed to be proof that I wasn't hemorrhaging, but I couldn't go to the bathroom. To prove the, that you're yeah. not hemorrhaging. <laughs> well, that's wonderful the way that worked yeah. out. So basically 48 hours after delivery, yep. when most women are home, right. you were given a pill to initiate contractions again. Yeah, it was terrible. <sighs> that never happened with the other, no, with the other children. No. No, and it's not really supposed to, unless no. you're like, you have major concerns, so, yeah, so that was my day. So at the moment you're fine. Yeah. Right? You're yeah. in a little bit of pain, but it's but not. not bad. Not bad. I'll be real loopy tonight. So and just so the zoo family knows, that's a one-time pill, uh -huh. and they're not going to, they don't plan to give it to you unless it's necessary. Unless it's Hopefully necessary. It, that was right. it. It's passed. And from this point on, everything's a-okay. -okay. Yeah, and when they, when my body will act like normal again my body will stop contracting so have you had any recently mm -hmm. since i've been here yeah but not like not like major. i had no idea i know <laughs> i don't want to ruin our dinner oh please i'm more concerned with you being okay because that uh, pill starts really strong and it gets softer and softer kind of is, is it the same one they use to of. induce sometimes and they'll give it to you every three hours um, to induce no because that that's not by mouth 
Oh, they, that's an IV. Yeah, drip. that's an, that's an okay. IV or something. Okay. So, thankfully, it wasn't pitocin because my mom said that that could have been pitocin, and then <sighs> my mind would have just been like. Forty-eight hours after birth, after delivery, you go back on pitocin. Forget it. Yeah, I would have been. We'd like, be calling Emily in here. Call, been, like, <laughs> We'd be calling the midwife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, call the midwife. Yeah. Call your mom. Call so, everybody. Yeah, it, it's just it was crazy. So the day was not in it. Like I woke up feeling great. Like I had energy, I was able to walk yeah. on my own, and then all of a sudden I'm at a fall risk. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "You could get dizzy, you could vomit," and I'm like, oh, oh, "Wonderful!" Dang it. So, so we're hoping tonight's a redo on last night. You right. get a good night's rest yeah. and wake up with no better symptoms tomorrow. Right. So they're here with the meal. They're here I with our special meal. We're, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we're gonna let you see a little bit of it, but we are gonna use this time just to chat reconnect. and reconnect yes um now that we're not under the trauma of childbirth right. and we're gonna just use this time for ourselves and chat uh yeah. we'll show you like the meal a quick glimpse of it and then you're you're out yeah. and uh and then we'll peace out for tomorrow well oh, maybe we'll go see daisy yeah we'll show them we'll daisy i was gonna take them and let them see daisy okay so the meal's here and it smells delicious looks delicious i'm gonna so be amazing. give you a quick overview of the table mommy and i both have the filet with mashed potatoes shallot veggies mommy got death by chocolate yeah. apparently for dessert i have a key lime tart over here my appetizer is a shrimp cocktail and mommy's appetizer is a delicious looking salad with walnuts yes. and cranberries and oranges and, uh, and then they have some sparkling grape cider juice. over here or sparkling grape juice yeah and then our drinks and um and then this little special thing in the middle of the table right here which is which is probably for you i think <laughs> that's the face i assume it's for you maybe maybe one's for you maybe one's for me i don't know i think they're both for you <gasps> She's a, a citrine. You know, you know uh, what tradition this is, right? <laughs> I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. They're a little bigger than the stones on. Uh, on the ones you got for the boys, right? <laughs> These girls earned those. Oh my gosh. And um, I did it different. <clears throat> As you can tell, I didn't do a set or anything. I did two because, and I put thought into this, like I do everything. <laughs> yeah, you don't do anything. <laughs> without a meaning, right? One goes on your hand, because it represents your actions, because you get to, <laughs> yeah. Because you get to hold one of the girls in your hands. And then the necklace goes by your heart because one of them will remain there. You're me. <laughs> no, you are. You are. I love you. I love you so much. I'm glad we walked through this together. <laughs> the kids, all four of them, their birthstones were all shades of green. So you finally right. have something different. Right. <laughs> And you have something you can That's wear fun. in the fall, too, yeah, if you think gorgeous. about it. I'll show the zoo family really quick. This is the ring for Daisy. She's a, they're both citrons. Citrines? Mm -hmm. I think citrine. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Because they're born in November. Here's little Miss Chloe, which we will always choose to believe is an identical twin. So yeah. that when we look at Daisy, we'll always think about both of them and, and believe that we're getting to see both of them. So... So Miss Daisy is getting phototherapy for jaundice. Yeah, she's in her yeah. room and checked again in the morning. Okay. Great. They got a little mask on to protect her eyes. Bigger than her. No. <laughs> Growing up. Some Katie's dolls. Her Jojo Siwa dolls bigger than this. <laughs> yeah. You are literally, literally. Is this the first time you're holding her? No, I got to hold her one other time. Okay. But this is the first time she's just awake and looking at me. 
she's examining me. She's like looking all at the different. Oh, she's been on phototherapy, so her eyes. You know what I mean? Probably. Just, Probably. Yeah. Well, she's she's had the the mask on. Right. It's the first time you're able to look at stuff all day. This is so cute. I'm sorry, was that supposed to be a sneeze? Hmm? She's still grabbing my finger. Look at that. Mm. She's got a that? big grip. Look at a good grip. You do have a good grip, girl. Mm. Look at that little grip. If I shake it, she squeezes harder. Really? That's, That's good. good. The first day, if I shook, she'd let go. Now she grabs mm. harder. Good job. Developing that skill, that motor skill to grab stuff. Excellent. Excellent. You're just so cute. I changed my first diaper. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodness, it's so fun to take care of you. She makes me, I know, I was getting really sleepy. I was getting really sleepy when I was feeding her before. She doesn't quite have enough hair to do a hair bow. I looked. It's not quite. The little clip bows? Yeah. Yeah, we can just put the. Little bands on. Which might also. Which be also be, might be too big. big. <laughs> well, they so are too big. big. Her head would have to be multiple that size. Let's see what we can do to make it stay. <laughs> a little love. The flower's gonna be as big as your head. <laughs> Poor baby. That flower's gonna be as big as Gosh, she looks so small. She's beautiful, man. She's just so great. So great. There you go, Zoo family. That is what I call a closing to a video. This is the most serene and beautiful thing. She's just so sweet. So small. His little hands, little nose, and little face. Just, my goodness, what a bundle of blessing. You really weren't dead, baby. I look at her and I'm like, yeah, the Lord really did put her together. Mm.